up a finger full, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Wow. <laughs> Hold on there, Mawe. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. <laughs> Those mashed potatoes it's did look good. Old dog. Yeah, I'd eat them almost from anywhere they land. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Get out of <that> potato face! <laughs> what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> Van Van rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. What the? He's got a battle axe! <laughs> and he eats off of that? Oh, look at that octopus. Oh, we should have gone with the octopus. I knew it. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky, silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe blade. Forged by my supreme chef. And I can't even do a voice. Supreme chef ancestors. That's hardcore. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I would totally eat off that battle axe. That looks rad. It does. You open like a like a Conan restaurant or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is you, Wes. Yep, yep. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all look on with envy. I'm sure that's not the voice I use. No, you're used to oh, slow okay. dull. Yeah, we'll get it. So for anybody I'll paying attention, it looks like we just jumped in a part and continued, but we didn't. We took a break because our voices were done. So look at Van Van, by the way, in that JoJo pose. Like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> you can have that battle axe thing going on, too. Oh, that was rad. I can't lie. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. Oh, he wanted some of that battle axe. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't. Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been. Too late. It has been. Too late. It has been. It has been. E I can't. I, my, I'm broken. Look at his head. <laughs> oh, know. God. I uh, think I left uh, something. He's just going to leave. He's just going to walk away. I don't feel so good. <laughs> there you go. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it turned into a ghost. What the, <laughs> what the hell? It killed him. Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. Did it literally just kill him? <laughs> it looks like it. He's blinking still for they, some reason. They just throw a bed sheet over his face. When you look at back at the plate, oh god, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. <laughs> Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then it is almost immediately back to oblivious self. Oopsie! <laughs> Tastes like poison! <laughs> the entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues. Oh my god, this music is still rocking out. I should not have drank that Red Bull. I'm <laughs> feeling it like doom music right now. <laughs> the class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Oh my god, Pop. Of course. Uh, of, course of course, his superpower is he ignores poison by eating poison. Yep. I'm not sure the professor's here making enough money. You think he's paid with money, or you think he's paid with dog treats? I would say dog treats. And I'm assuming he's very upset that he's not getting extra. <laughs> uh, um, you're a ghost now, so do it dull and boring, but ghosty at the same time. Um, hello. <laughs> I just turned into a ghost over here. 
Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all this nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. We're shaken up by Bob or the ghost. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. Oh, he's walking us home now. Mm. Apparently. What a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, for real? Oh, come on. You forgot your ghostly parts. I did. <laughs> I just can't believe he's a ghost it just now. He turned into a ghost. Literally, Van Van killed him. <laughs> well, I mean, if anybody was going to kill somebody. I mean, but you would think with the battle axe, not the octopus on the battle axe. Well, I mean, it was still on the battle axe, so technically the battle axe was involved in the death of the random student. I take my comment about eating off the battle axe back now. Yeah, a little bit. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Yeah, especially with a random ghost kind of wandering about. <laughs> Colonel Sanders stands in the quads, neon glow, and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you had, are you made in class today? Before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Oh, then the fireworks start. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Oh, he's got tears in his eyes. He does. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find spot. You think we we <laughs> nagged him and he pretty much <laughs> had nothing wanted nothing to do with us. Got to have your own recipe. Don't mess with his recipes. Bring your own to the no, table. No. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, my way. <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. Uh -huh. Okay. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, geez. You see, when I was a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. Why is he crying? Oh, it's Colonel Sanders is pissed. Yeah. He's like, you're, I mean, <laughs> you're essentially cock blocking the Colonel, man. <laughs> and every day since I have been working towards that dream, you killed a man. Day and night, never stopping, never resting, you killed a man. Also lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. I feel like I'm reading him right, actually. I think you are too, yeah. <laughs> We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts. That our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Almost, jeez, your poetry, Colonel. Hey, I know, right? No, I, you? Oh, he stole the moment back from Van Van. Oh, poor, oh, he's... <laughs> <laughs> he's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> the emotions are strong with him now. <laughs> Shut up. I'm the one here to say the inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that you cooking literally killed a guy? <laughs> literally. Like, lit. yeah, there's that look. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. Oh, we can't prove it, though, even though he just... He insta-ghosted. He didn't just, like, fall over dead. He insta-ghosted. He went from being cumin to corporeal like that. He was in phasmophobia already. Yep. Yep, that was... I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Well, we never did learn his name. I feel... Actually... Student. Student, yeah. Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad... I actually feel bad for him. Yeah, he's dead now. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. Oh, God, what, what? the... What just happened? What just... <laughs> What is that thing? Did we miss something? That I just switched. Know. It's the Spork Monster. It's here to fight a hero. Oh, what? What's it made out of? 
mashed potatoes and sporks? What kind of Cthulhu monster from the warp is this? <laughs> is it walking or floating? Is it the eye of the beholder? Is it, I mean, a beholder? I don't know. Is it a beholder? What is going on? I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. We will not let harm come to another student. Except for that ghost kid. I kind of dropped the ball on that. <laughs> you kind of, well, I didn't, he didn't really have a part in that. You know, I'm not going to blame him for that because that just doesn't seem fair. No, it doesn't. It just doesn't seem fair at all. Be af Wait, I guess I'll take this voice. Be yeah, afraid. Yeah, yeah. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster. See? I, I don't know. Was that good? Yeah, I, I liked it. it I it's convincing of a monster. I'm just going to switch it from different monster voices for fun. Oh, definitely. Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight, fight sequence? sequence. What will we do? <gasps> what? <laughs> we can attack or defend. Offense, 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 offense. That's my vote. Attack, attack. Kill it, kill it with fire. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack? We all, we get to pick an attack. Oh, we only have one. Cook with love. I guess we're cooking with love. Yeah. It does one damage. It just got real. I'm broken. <laughs> this, is, this took such a turn. <laughs> it's just the spork I monster out of nowhere. I love it, yeah. The attack really upset the spork monster. Spork monster goes on the attack. <laughs> Oh god, I don't know what this sentence means that I'm about to read, but they spit hot <laughs> <laughs> They spit hot gravy at us. And we also take one damage, so it's one to one. Yep. What do we do, Wes? I, I let's attack again, see if we can cook with love again. I mean it didn't say it powered up or anything, so Yeah, we might as well. Cook with love. Yeah. We do another damage. Spork Monster won't forget this. He's really feeling threatened by our attacks of love. He focuses their mashed mind and draws an energy from Mother Earth. It's he's doing a spirit bomb. What? He's doing a spirit bomb. <laughs> Grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Now, see, this is where you defend. need to defend. Yeah, 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 we definitely defend. We decided to defend. Which defense will we lose? Trepidation. It's like being oh. wary, right? I think so, yeah. You hold your head between your hands and mutter, this is not happening. This is not happening. I can't believe this is actually happening. I can't believe I, it either. This, what is going on? <laughs> Sport monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. <laughs> they use utilitensile to take two <laughs> We take, we, we take two damage from the attack. If you take too much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Oh. Well, we have to attack now because oh, yeah. we have to kill it before it kills us. We decide to go on the attack. Cook with love. Ew, it's oozing cheese sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who's... Pop is probably going to eat it. Yeah, it's Pop. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> with another oopsie. <laughs> oopsie! <laughs> Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded Edge. Oh no. Uh, uh. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. <laughs> yeah, he's got the, the chick. <laughs> you shall not pass. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of not one, but a thousand chickens. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that stash! Yeah. This is your line, don't mess it up. You only got one chance. Do not lose your chance. Pop pie power pinch! Yeah! Pop pie power pinch does 10 damage. Wow. Spork monster Spork. is defeated. <laughs> you you saved me. An injured sport monster spews steam into the night. <laughs> <laughs> After that. 
All right, all right, Wes. Here's the thing: do we spare this wretched beast or forget mercy, finish him? Here's well, the. I feel like. Here's I the, feel like. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's my, here's my thought on it. Yeah, yeah, go for we it. We could finish him, which would be our first choice. But let's think for a minute. The spork monster. He gave us an entertaining fight and an entertaining content for a video. I say we let him live. I I do too because I, I feel like the colonel's gonna have pity on him. I don't know. He's got the staff and a thousand chickens. He might want to murder him, but I say we spare him. Yeah, I say we spare him. You managed to champ down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he's still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast, and don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. Sounds like well, foreshadowing. A little bit. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back like you said. The spork monster scuttles off into the night. Hey, the defeated monster left behind a special item. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. When did we start playing an RPG? <laughs> it appears at first to be a cookbook, but on closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with the golden chicken on the cover. This is this is a big random twist. I mean, the spork monster seems like a basic monster. So how does it have this magical chicken book? That is a good question, too. <laughs> you open the cover and find a library card tucked in a library card. The last name to have signed it out is Porco. Hmm. Porco. 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 That name sounds strangely familiar. Oh, that's your last. <laughs> Porco. That name sounds strangely familiar. It does because I'm so lost right now. I am too. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from the, ba the battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. Oh, so we just fainted on the quad. Yep. Without any energy to keep our eyes open, darkness overtakes us. Oh, he's in our room. Oh, wait. So, just a, a quick recap. It went from trying to, to confess the feelings for Colonel Sanders to Van Van showing up to profess his dreams and ambitions <laughs> to a spork monster fight <laughs> and then finding a magical book with a golden chicken head on it. Well, we do have two days left in this semester, Wes. We have plenty of time to show our affection to the Colonel. That is true. You, it's <laughs> it's best not to rush through <laughs> a good meal that can come from the Colonel. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before you eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. Good night. My colonel. In your dream, <laughs> in your, Jesus, in your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders, and for some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love? Dreams are weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> the ghost was there too, that's amazing. The ghost was there. <laughs> He's finally getting the attention he deserves. He just had to die for it. Oh my god. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? Yes, is this about to happen for real? I, you know, I would say no, but I'm, I'm starting to learn that that's not the answer. Oh, look, I mean, we never really looked in our room, but look, we, we clearly have a sport we like. We play tennis. Yep. We like what I assume is a K-pop band, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Yep, um, there's some jewelry and stuff that's... It's the colors of KFC, so that's, that's oh, something. Oh, you know, I didn't catch on to that. Oh, we have a pearl necklace. We got a pearl necklace. And the shoes have the same colors. <laughs> it's just not the stripes, but yeah, like... I didn't get that motif going on, but you're right. But it has the white and the red. Those are KFC colors. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Like, it's already... We've set up my way to be a KFC star. KFC star. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. 
Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was a secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? <laughs> secret ingredient is water. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Oh god, I don't remember what voice I did for her. Yeah, I don't remember it either. <laughs> uh, um, I guess she gets a new one. Yeah, I guess she does. It's time for a new voice, Miriam. Let's roll it. All right, I'm going to try to... I'm going to do an anime girl voice, which means I'm going to do something entirely different, but we're going to try. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... Uh-oh. I think I might like play. Oh, there's the voice. <laughs> I found it. Yep, that's it. Like him, like him? I'm still in the voice. I'm, uh... I know it sounds like I'm moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. Wow. Maui. Yeah. I yeah, mean, <laughs> I'm so broken right now. Clank. Yeah, I think if... See, good thing we didn't go with Pop. Yeah. Maybe we should go with a different conversation, how she hates him, hates him. <laughs> we got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Oh, they know each other. Do they? Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? No, but does that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at school he didn't even go to, and it was also a convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. Aww. <laughs> Why am I reading it like Speed Racer? I just noticed that. Good job. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in the pressure cooker language translation there. <laughs> Either way, maybe it's best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders? That's the coolest guy in school! The most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning? U C S A F blah blah blah. You're a thing now? Oh, don't go tell Miriam that because we're not actually yeah. a thing. Well, we did definitely connect yesterday, I will say that. Over the spork monster. Yep, yep. I mean, that's how most love is born when you're fighting a giant mashed potato monster with sporks all over its body. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be? Ah, oh, what a good friend you are, Miriam. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. Oh, she was laughing at us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. I was there for you, Miriam. I see how it is. I'm a yeah. I mean, reprogram your boyfriend to hate you. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Indeed. Why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Secret, secret, secret. Secret. <laughs> Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. Dot dot dot. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices and secret ingredients. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from a super duper rare dried flower petals. And that if I did him a fa big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and I brought them home. <laughs> this is kind of disturbing. He was, a little bit. He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was like anything I'd ever tasted. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices. <laughs> yeah, what did you take? <laughs> was it a white powder? <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest of cooking, so we stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. 
I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Oh, she wants the secret. Well, she does. I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. <coughs> Cough. Fibber. <coughs> Cough. Yeah, this is... Please, please, please. It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Okay, okay, okay. This is our best friend. So here's the thing, though. We're in school, so there's, there's, there's two th lines of thought here. We're already enamored with the Colonel. So if you ask me, I'm not giving up the recipe to you, Miriam, especially after you said we're not even a chance we could be with the Colonel. Right, right. So definitely, that's where I'm at, too. I mean, we've already seen what happens if we incur his wrath. Yeah, so let's uh, let's not do that. Let's make up a fake ingredient. Yep, I'm with that. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about, ooh, do we get to pick? Ah, uh, it was I and Newt. I know. Sounds like some kind of witch's potion. But what can you do? <laughs> I am Newt. Wow. Her eyes light up imagining such a thing. And you figure that you satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. Or she'll put it in her next dish and ruin everything. <laughs> yeah. Make another ghost man. <laughs> However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're into oh wow, what a good best friend. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. Oh, I know what's coming next. He's yes! on a horse! He's on a horse! <laughs> he's he's always surprising. <laughs> Oh, it is, do you see a saddle has chickens on it? <laughs> I see it now. It's Colonel Sanders, and he's arriving at school. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, Wes, this is all you. You know the one that I'm thinking. I'm going to assume, actually, hmm. I don't know, because I have two ways of thinking of this with you. Yeah, go for it. What do you I, think? Honestly, I'm going to go you this time around. I'm going to say you want to run to him. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, I was with the uh, the idea of stand back and admire his majestic glory. I mean, he should come to us. Oh, you, you know, that's more West thinking. So we're going to go with that. Colonel Sanders horse is truly a thing of beauty. That's <laughs> <laughs> a horse knowing that <laughs> Jack actually made the knee. Without ever acknowledging that he's been watched, he does a short horse dance. Oh, wow, he knows you're watching him. He knows we're yep, watching him? Yep. I'm not actually sure what's going on between us and him or who's him now. Before dismounting with a flourish, he then slaps the beautiful creature gently on the rear, sending it running free into the... Well, that's going to be a haphazard thing on the roads. Yeah, this just set a random horse free. Just going to hear a car go squeal, and then a horse knee again. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Cherry blossoms, you are so struck by the sight of them that you lose the ability, like much I have this actual playthrough, to speak coherently. Yep. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. Oh no, the horse is house seeking. Oh no! <laughs> you attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. <laughs> what a horseful beaut you have. I mean, what a horseful beaut you have. She said the same thing twice. <laughs> Dang it, that's what I just said. <laughs> Being a good... Oh, okay, Miriam's bringing it back. She's bringing it back for herself. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, Maui just gets really nervous around people they like. What? This is not helping. I mean, they got food poisoning, and we're up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. What did... Yeah, that's not any better. She gives you a wink and a smile, as if to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> and with that, Colonel Sanders disappeared in the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. <laughs> we... <laughs> just the horse. The horse. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if we would have ran to it, we could have gotten hit by the horse. Oh my god, that is uh, the horse! <laughs>